Hey there guys, so I want to thank you as always for checking out my workout videos that I usually post every couple weeks. So for this next video, we are going to be going over leg-based workouts, focusing primarily on using dumbbells. Now these workouts are very beginner friendly. They're easy to do and to try out if you are new to performing you know workout in general so definitely keep that in mind so all of the equipment that's needed for these workouts is dumbbells so they are going to be really easy to perform because all you will need is two dumbbells to do the workouts so the three different workouts that we're going to do in this video is the dumbbell goblet squat the dumbbell deadlift as well as the dumbbell squats themselves. So these are three different workouts that target the legs. They are primarily compound based movements, most of these, except for when we're talking about dumbbell deadlifts because deadlifts are primarily focused on targeting the hamstrings. However, they can work other muscles. But when we're talking about um, dumbbell squats, as well as dumbbell goblet squats, they do use multiple muscles, which is known as a compound movement. But they do primarily target the quads, which is the larger portion of the leg. So keep that in mind. But these are overall leg-based workouts that you can try. Again, guys, reach out if you have any questions, but I hope that you find this valuable and helpful. So thank you guys once again. For the first workout we have here is the dumbbell goblet squat. So you want to stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold a dumbbell in your hand close to your chest with both hands. And your elbows should be pointing down and your chest should be up. You want to begin by pushing your hips back as if you're going to sit in a chair. This is the squat position, of course. And you want to keep your back straight and your chest up. Bend at your knees and lower your body until your thighs are at least parallel to the ground. If you can lower comfortably, that's even better. So make sure your knees are tracking over the toes, not collapsing inward. And then rise back up by pushing your heels to stand back up to the starting position. For the next workout, we have dumbbell squats. So you want to stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold a dumbbell in each hand with your arms fully extended at your sides. You want to keep your back straight and your chest up. Engage your core by tightening your ab muscles. You want to begin by pushing your hips back as if you're going to sit in a chair, much like our previous squat workout. Bend your knees to lower your body, keeping the dumbbells at your sides. Continue to lower your body until your thighs are at least parallel to the ground. If you can go lower comfortably, that's even better. Make sure your knees are tracking over your toes and not collapsing inward. Keep your chest up and back straight throughout the movement. So for the next and last workout, we have dumbbell deadlifts. So you want to stand with your feet hip width apart, holding a dumbbell in each hand with arms fully extended, much like our previous workout. Keep your back straight and chest up, engage your core, and make sure your feet are flat on the ground with weight evenly distributed. Begin by hinging at your hips, push your hips back while keeping a slight bend in your knees. Lower the dumbbells by sliding them down the front of your thighs. Thank you guys once again for taking the time to check out these videos. I do want to mention that I do have live stream based videos as well as these workout videos. And I do have short form videos that you can check out of various different workouts that I've performed that are really easy and digestible that you can try out. So definitely check out that content. You can go into my community section in the YouTube channel and find various different posts of updates related to my business as well as some informative information related to fitness and nutrition that you can 
basically integrate into your workout routine or your nutrition routine. You can also visit my website. It's bponlinefitness.com. I do have a ton of cool information on there. I have a free fitness blog that you can check out. You can also sign up for my email list where I send out an email newsletter each week. So if you want to learn more information, definitely check that out. But you can reach out to me if you have any questions and leave a comment below. So thank you guys as always. And I will see you guys in the next video.